All right. Well, I'm back here at the hitch. I uh, I bought a pin uh, for it. Didn't want to put a locking one on there. Just one that you know you could tell if it's in or not for safety. And I didn't like the way the plate was sticking up over the original hitch. So I took it apart and I cut it down. And I ground it. Now you don't see the uh, the plate. It's not as noticeable as being removable now. Yeah. Attention to detail. I know the problem with it. I ain't got no gas. I ain't got no no carburetor. I ain't got no fuel injection. Got, got a Ziploc baggie. That ain't gonna work. Well, it is California, so maybe this might be the new smog smog laws for 1941 Dodges. You're required to wear a Governor Newsom Ziploc baggie for your carburetor. All right, uh, just an average day. It's getting ready to start raining, and I got the carburetor back on 1941 Dodge, weapons carrier, command car, truck, oddball. Uh, rebuilt the carburetor, got the accelerator pump fixed. I look a lot smoother now. It's all cleaned out. I redid the spring return springs a little differently. It had it hooked up here, and then a spring and another spring. Had a couple had two springs hooked together all the way back in the back and well I'm not quite done with it I got to get some um, little tiny washers and I want to get some different cotter keys I don't want cotter keys I want those little spring clips I want to replace all these cotter keys but if you look I got a set of springs off of uh, basically you see on a small block Chevy with a little uh, tab coming off so that when that rotates that will always stay the same angle and keeps it away from the the exhaust manifold and everything won't rub. So I just gonna say I just gotta replace this this powder key. I gotta find a little spring tab. But man, it's idling nice. Backed it up, drove around the backyard. Yeah, drove around the backyard. I backed up to there and then I pulled it up to here. Alright, so then let's see what else. I'm gonna try to put the hood back on. I got the uh, the top piece off right now. And for temporary, I uh, I cut a quarter inch bolt that I got in here. So I gotta replace this whole piece. I got the piece to replace it, but I'm just not ready to tear into that bodywork stuff. Oops, there we are. So, uh, one end of the hood goes into this, this piece here, and the other end goes into that piece that's up there, it's off. And then I bolt it together and the hood will be, will be perfect. And then I got one side, I got the hood prop already done. I gotta do the one on the other side. But, uh, man, it's just island nice. Still got to do the alternator bracket. I might work on that tomorrow, but I want to take it out front where I got all my uh, tools. Get yeah, my welders and choppers and fenders and heaters and cutters and grinders and all that good stuff. So maybe tomorrow. That is bouncing around a lot. And uh, that's it. All right, well, I'm gonna do big raindrops here. I want to cut out for the day and hit it up tomorrow. Boom! Disconnect. I gotta do the battery disconnect too. There, gotta have to find a home for that. All right, that's it for today. Check back tomorrow. All right, summing up the. Uh, Weekend. This is the tenth weekend working on the uh, 41 Dodge Command Car Oddball, which was a great day. Um, went to pull around my driveway to do some work on it, and wound up taking it for a drive around the neighborhood, which was pretty cool. So uh, before I go in for the night, I uh, can't see here, but I want to get my my registration and insurance card out. Don't want to leave it in there, but. All good things come to an end. Uh, when I was driving around, the alternator was hitting the uh, fan. And when under load driving around, the alternator was bouncing around a lot. So I took it out. And somebody had made this bracket, which is cool. All it works. And uh, this was the, uh, the bracket on the top side. Very thin. So I, uh, I made a new bracket for the top. And then I got to looking at the bottom of this, 
And I guys working on another bracket here, and I, I got I got scrap steel and everything. I got I could come up with something better. And then I went online while I was having lunch, and for like forty bucks, they make a bracket for the inline six cylinder Dodge motor that bolts right with the lower alt uh, generator bracket that bolts right to the alternator. Perfect alignment and everything. So I'll still use this top bracket. If not, I got another Chevy uh, small block Chevy upper bracket somewhere over there but uh yeah i mean this this worked it worked under pinch where i put this on made it work but uh it just bounced around too much and then i noticed one of the coolant line or oil cooler lines is leaking so that's another another issue but uh ooh, so dusty yeah i uh had different mounts for this alternator on my 37 and i just can't find them because i know i got a whole bunch of parts that I bought and rebought and bought and rebought for this and that's the beauty about working on that is I'm not doing that this time around I'm ordering what I need I'm waiting until it comes in I put it on if it doesn't fit I return it I've been working on this car for five or six years and I've bought things you know months ahead of time years ahead of time then by the time I go to use it I didn't need it or it didn't work it was wrong and wound up couldn't return it so i got a lot of parts for my 37 ford in totes everywhere which uh, now the weather's cooling down let me get back to work on this girl finished i gotta do the power window on this side and put the two back windows in build the back seat i got all the stereo components the amp subwoofer and everything it's all wired just going to put it in once i get the window done uh, hey, wait a second. Okay. You see that cat? The one with the white paws? That's new. I don't know where, I don't know where that cat came from. That gray one, he's been here forever. There's another gray one there that's fairly new, but that guy's little. He's a new cat. Alright. Always room for more varmint hunters around here. So, all right, well, wrapping up this weekend. Uh, let's see what I get done. Carburetor rebuilt, installed, running great. Uh, what else did I do? Redid the, the hitch, cleaned the, the rear hitch up a little bit. Got a pin for it. Uh, redid the linkage for the carburetor, the return springs. I still need to get a few little snap rings for that. But uh, all in all, it's a good weekend. I think... Uh, if I get this alternator bracket in the next couple couple days by next weekend, I should be able to take it for a lot longer drive. I want to get over to the gas station and see how many gallons I can put in this tank. And then uh, see how far I can take her. Throw a few tools in my, my toolbox and hit the road. Alright, simplify. Have a great night. See you next week.